Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> we know Mr. Cohen has been dishonest in the past. That's why he's gone to prison in two months. But there are things today that he said during the several hours of questioning that just don't add up either. He said he never defrauded any bank when he was having a conversation questioning from Mr. Comer. Obviously, that's not true because he's going to prison for that very offense. He said today he was a good lawyer who understood the need to represent his client, his client with legal advice. But in his written testimony, he said he never bothered to consider whether payments to women for improper, uh, whether payments to women were improper, much less the right thing to do. He attested in his signed truth and testimony form that he did not have any reportable contracts with foreign government entities. Earlier, he admitted to having consulting agreements with at least, at least two foreign entities owned in part by foreign governments, BTA Bank of Kazakhstan and Korea Airspace Industries of South Korea. He said to Chairman Cummings that Donald Trump directed him and the Trump Organization CFO Alan Weiselberg to, quote, go back to his office and figure out how to make the $130,000 payment. But in his testimony, he says, Mr. Trump directed me to use my own personal funds from the home equity line of credit to avoid any money being traced back to him that could negatively impact the campaign. And in response to a question about him paying to set up the fake Twitter account at Women for Cohen, that he didn't direct the commission of that Twitter account. He says, I didn't set that up, and it was done by a young lady that works for the firm, when in fact, he did ask the IT firm Redfinch to set it up according to the owner of Redfinch. And finally, he said he didn't want a job with the administration, even though the attorneys with the Southern District of New York stated that this was a fact. When asked about this, they said, I wouldn't call them liars, but that statement is not accurate. Mr. Chairman, I think maybe more importantly is what we should have been doing today. Mr. Meadows and I sent you a letter asking us, asking you to have Mr. Rosenstein here. I think it's important to know that last week when you announced that Mr. Cohen was coming this week, just happened to be the very same week that we learned the Deputy Attorney General of the United States was thinking about wearing a white cord the Commander-in-Chief was actually contemplating talking to Cabinet members and invoking the 25th Amendment. That's what we should be focused on, not this sad display we've had to go through the last several hours. And again, it's not my words. You can take the words of the former General Counsel for the House of Representatives under Tip O'Neill. So I hope we've learned some things here today. Um, but Mr. Mr. Chairman, as I said earlier, your first big hearing the first announced witness of the 116th Congress is a gentleman who is going to prison in two months for lying to Congress. I don't think that's what we should be focused on.